From Wooden Creek, it's just a five-mile sail across the Solent to Portsmouth, a large natural harbour on the mainland, protected from the sea by the Isle of Wight. Portsmouth is a busy commercial ferry port with cross-channel service to several ports in France and the Channel Islands, as well as the Isle of Wight. This famous landmark, the Spinnaker Tower, built to resemble a billowing spinnaker sail, makes it easy to find the harbour entrance. It's symbolic of the importance of sailing here. Since the Middle Ages, Portsmouth has been home to England's and later Britain's Royal Navy. At the historic naval dockyard, you can go aboard such famous ships as Admiral Nelson's Victory or HMS Warrior. It's also the headquarters for many marine equipment manufacturers like Selden Mast, located in Gosport on the west side of the harbour. Selden manufactured the mast for our new boat and are about to build us a new downwind pole made from carbon fibre. This pole holds out the foresail when we're sailing downwind. Carbon fibre is also being applied in advanced aerospace and technological areas such as laptops and cars, as well as boats. We want to learn more about carbon fibre production, so I talked to Managing Director Steve Norbury, a very experienced racing sailor. It's incredibly light, isn't it? That's one of its it, it is incredibly light, yes. Um, compared with aluminium, which is uh, the normal mask-making material nowadays, um, it is, uh, for its same weight, it's much stronger and it's much stiffer. So this is a great big tube. It's, yeah, but it just weighs so little. It, it weighs, it's yeah, it's, uh, it's incredibly one light, one hand, isn't it? One hand, and, and you can pick that up, so you can pick that up. And that would be a mast off about a 30-foot yacht. We're looking about a rig which is 40% lighter than if it was made out of aluminium. Fantastic. So for sailing boats, obviously anything high up, weight aloft, and, or for any weight critical yeah, application. Yeah. If you think about uh, the weight of your keel, um, everything that's heavy in the keel is working for you. It's helping to keep your boat upright and helping to increase the performance of the boat. So anything that you have upstairs in the rig, um, all of that weight is working against you. That's trying to make your boat heel over further. Uh, making you reduce sail when the wind gets up, making the, pit, the boat pitch more backwards and forwards over waves. So the more weight that you can take out of the rig, um, for a racing sailor he'll go faster, but for a cruising sailor you'll have a more comfortable sail. Great, thank you. So what's the next stage with these? We're gonna... So this is the filament winding machine where we actually create the carbon tubes themselves. What we have here is the aluminium mandrel which is quoted in a release wax agent, um, and then a delivery head, which is putting these carbon fibres, laying them down on top of the mandrel as it rotates, in a pattern which is predefined by our structural engineers. And it will build the pole up gradually in different layers of different uh, carbon fibre going in different directions in order to deliver the properties that we require from the finished tube. The carbon spools are composed of thousands of thin carbon filaments, many times thinner than a human hair, that are formed into bundles like yarn. The yarn is impregnated with liquid epoxy, so the strands are slightly sticky. All the carbon fibres are in place. Now air must be squeezed out, and the layers smoothed down so heat shrink tape is wound on. A further compression is added by vacuum bagging before the whole assembly is heated in a huge oven to cure the epoxy. The carbon fibre masts and poles are heated in this huge autoclave for a full eight hours, which cures the epoxy, making a rigid structure. I can see it's the way of the future, isn't it? When you well, see it like this. certainly, uh, you know, we're making more and more of these masts, and uh, it is just like, you know, aluminium masts came in and took over from wood uh, in the 60s and the 70s. I think maybe in the next few years, the next 10 years, we'll see many, many more boats having carbon fibre rigs. Thank you very much for the tour around here. This has been very interesting. No problem at all. It's a pleasure.